And I'm just like, you know, I don't know if that's me. You know, I don't make lists and I don't sell lists of the best things to buy. It's, it's just not my personality. Some people it is. Some people out there like to get a list and like study that list. I don't know. I don't think you really need a list. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Sunday show. Well, it's happy Easter for y'all. Happy Easter out there. We hope you're having a wonderful Easter. I didn't realize it was Easter for y'all because I filmed this on Saturday. <laughs> we filmed this a little early to help get a little head start on our weekend shipping and that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna pick four or five items, six items maybe. I'm gonna talk about one thing. I had a viewer ask a question about hats. And how do you know what hat to buy and whatever? And then I had had somebody who wanted to start reselling. And like, I just don't know where to start. You know, give me some clothes that are good. And, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, you know, I don't know if that's me. You know, I don't make lists and I don't sell lists of the best things to buy. It's, it's just not my personality. Some people it is. Some people out there like to get a list and like study that list. I don't know. I don't think you really need a list. And I'll tell you what I do instead. And I'll give you a couple more hints on how, if you're a newbie out there, if you're not a newbie, don't take this as an insult, y'all. Some of y'all know way more than me and you teach me in the comments. But if you're fairly new to this, I'll give you a couple things that I would suggest you should do maybe to make it a little bit easier and to have a little bit more success and to grow as a picker out there and as a reseller. But before we do that, let's take a look what's sold. We are, of course, on the Sunday video going to have couple of questions from viewers at the end of it. Here's a Game Boy game. I picked this one up for a buck, I think. I think that's right. Or did I get this from Rich? I can't remember. But we sold it for, I think, $12? $12, I think. Not a bad sale. No, I take it back. We sold it for $11 plus shipping. So that's a little bit better. $11 plus shipping. I remember when Jacob watched that. Boy, he loved that. And a lot of kids his age like that. That's the kind of thing that will be... A pretty good money maker, maybe not this game, but the series here. It was a cartoon series, and there's stuff that went along with it, and figurines and all that stuff. This is the kind of thing that might increase in value over the next decade or so. Picked up a bunch of stuff at that epic garage sale. It's where we picked up the key change and the uh, NASCAR stuff, but we picked up a few other little things that added to our profit, like this one. This is not a big money maker, but we're going to make $10 when we sell both of these. There's two of them, and that's why I picked it up. It's only it's ten fifty free ship. I think I paid fifty cents or a dollar on them, but well, there's two of them, so it was an easy lister. Multi quantity of two, make five bucks twice, maybe a little bit more, and uh, you know ten bucks one listing, easy shipper. Before I forget, I always ask you who's on your playlist. So I've been watching a couple things. I watched Relic Recoverist today, and reselling on the side with Thrifty as me used to be it. Esmeralda. So she is a great supporter of our show and she probably will flip out when she sees this up here. We've done it once before for you, but we haven't done it in a while. We really, really enjoy your support and have the very first comment I got on any video was from you. That was May 2019. Here's a little item we got in a lot, a big lot buy from the Hermano Garage sale. If I can find it. I think it's up here. Froggy Flips maybe. Yep, there it is. This was not a high-priced one, but we are already into the pure profit on all these a long time ago. These Arbon, I guess is how you pronounce it. These, so that's Calm. I'm looking for Joy. Did I ship the wrong one off to somebody? Or did I put it somewhere else? Oh well, I'll put Calm out there, but I swear it was Joy. Oh well, I'll find it. That'll remind me to find it. $7 plus shipping. Ha, huh, that's funny. <laughs> Joy was the name of the person who bought it. <laughs> Calm is the name. Oh, man, it's been a long week, y'all. Next item is an item we haven't sold in a while, and we had multi-quantities of it, so I'm glad it sold. It is an LU bucket hat. $12 and change, I think. I think maybe free shipping? I can't remember. But we find these from time to time, and we just add them. They're not multi-quantity necessarily when we buy them. But I'll find them so often that they I just add to the quantity and just keep the same picture. So that is always easy. You don't have to do any pictures or anything. You just find the listing and add to the quantity. And I'll usually pick them up for 50 cents or a dollar. It's two-sided. 
It was a stadium giveaway, an SGA hat. All right, instead of going and digging through my bin back there, I'll do it in a minute. We sold another Corvette keychain. And we sold another Corvette keychain, but we're not going to ship that one out. That one sold today. I think that one sold to a viewer, but this one did not sell to a viewer. We have the ones back in the case back here. We have them in the package. But I have to pull them out and pull them out of the bag and find the right one. So we're going to pass on that for now. But these are selling for 20 bucks, y'all. Pure profit at this point, after fees, after shipping. So definitely around a, 14, a little over $14 profit every time we sell one of those. All right, we're going to go inside in just a second. We've got two more sales in there. But before we do that, at the end of the video, I'll kind of reiterate this a little bit in regards to hats in particular. But talking about becoming a better picker or learning how to do this, there's all kinds of different advice, and it's all good advice. You know, start with things in your house and all. That's kind of a good way to learn the system. But as far as trying to find new items and learn new categories, I think there's a couple things I would do. One is don't always be in a hurry to get to the next place, to get to the next garage sale, to get to the next thrift store. Sometimes hang around, circle back, loop back around, and take some time and do a little bit of research. Pull out that phone and look up things that you wouldn't usually look up and you might find some things. Let the other people chase, chase, chase. That's a good strategy too. How many of y'all are chasers out there? You go and you look around, you scan around real quick. If you don't see what you wanna see, you go. Or a lot of people will do what you'll see me do sometimes, although I edit it out sometimes, is I'll scan the whole place really quick to, to see if I can pick that low hanging fruit, pun intended. <laughs> and then after that, I'll go back and redo it again with a little bit of a fine tooth comb. But you see from these sales, just the last few sales here, and you haven't even seen a couple that are similar as well. There's a whole ton of pickers out there, but we managed to find some really good stuff too, looking under tables. And I circled back. The very first place I went was, well, it wasn't the first, but it was in the top two or three. I did a quick circle of the whole place before I bought anything. And then I knew that I was going to come back to those keychains. I knew somebody, I guess I didn't know, but I didn't want to take the time to research and figure it all out before I got a chance to look at the, the rest of the place. And I figured somebody wasn't going to buy a whole tub full of those things. A few people picked off one or two at a time, then maybe it would be okay. And that's exactly what happened. And we bought every single one of them. So there's one strategy. Another one is to watch YouTube. Watch YouTube. Tell me who you're watching below. Tell me who's on your playlist. And, of course, it's Sunday, so tell us who's on your music playlist as well. I, I got to tell you, I circled back with my music playlist as well. I uh, went back to the Beach Boys and to Blondie, so I'm going backwards. Maybe I ought to pull something that happened, you know, in the last 20 years. <laughs> I did listen to Cranberries today as well, so that counts, I suppose. I met them one time. I'm going to get off on a rabbit trail. I got stuck in an airport in Portland. I'm sitting against the wall. I don't know her name. But she comes up and she sits right next to me on the ground. I'm like, she looked and she said, yeah, we talked a little bit. She's a little odd. <laughs> she probably thought I was odd too. All right, see, I'm getting off. All right, next piece of advice is to look things up and to pick a particular genre, to pick a, a particular niche and learn it and then move to the next. So don't try to learn every single niche. Try to learn, you know, one at a time. Maybe take a month each niche and learn that and then move on. And I'll tell you specifically how I learn each niche. Other than watching different YouTubers who do different things, there's another way I used to do it. And I would do it every... I probably do more than one a month, to be honest with you. I'd usually pick two categories a month. And then I found somebody who knew jewelry. And I went and I learned from that person. And I'm still not an expert, but man, has it paid off. I've made thousands the last three years since I, I mean, probably five to six thousand just doing gold and silver that I would have missed in the past. So, at any rate, it's always a process, but listen to the end of the video at the question, and I'll tell you how I learn particular niches. And if anybody wants to chime in with some more advice on top of mine, tell those newbies down below what to do. All right, Turner sold something from his favorite superhero, Iron no, Man. No, this is not my favorite superhero. No? Oh, I, I could have swore it was Iron Man. <laughs> I bought that for you at Goodwill years yeah. ago. Show them how it works. And it makes different noises. It makes two, I think. Yeah? Yeah. 
I paid 99 cents for it years ago and brought it home to you and you loved it and you played with it and now you're selling it. And how much did you, well, you don't know how much you got. You got $10 for that plus shipping. What do you think about that? So I'm getting 10 bucks? No. I mean, one buck. <laughs> you're getting a dollar to save, spend, and donate. You got it. No, no, no. Just what? one second. Okay. And Reagan, that day, Reagan got like this Peppa Pig set. Remember when we used to play with those all the time? <laughs> yes, I do. You. You do I have a good memory. Mean, Every time you get a toy, you remember it, don't you? Yeah. All right. Well, you're going up to Granny and Paul's house, so we better get you out of here. See ya. Bye. Hey, y'all, a couple of reminders here. If you have a two-tier store, uh, a second-tier eBay store or above, get your free shipping supplies, eBay shipping supplies coupon, Q2. So I reminded some folks the other day on the show, but in case you missed it or if you're not on Instagram, it's time to do that. I'll put a video right here. I made the video because I forget how to do it. And there's an easy way to do it as well. So, at any rate, you might want to run over there. And tell me in the comments, if you didn't last week, what you get with your free stuff. So, here you go. This was at Lowe's. I saw this at Lowe's the other day. And I usually go in and grab one. And it lasts me over a year or so. These uh, heavy-duty ones, I usually take them and I'll use them almost like wrapping paper around big items that I don't want to rebox. They're already boxed up. But I don't really want to damage the packaging. Some people, I don't know. At any rate, there are certain items every year that I'll use this for. Like I would do the Christmas trees that I used to sell. Because sometimes people would request that they be put in another box because it's a gift or something like that. And you'll cover it up, but you don't want to find another box. Add weight, add size to it. And sometimes it's appropriate to just use these. So Lowe's had these. They usually are 15 bucks at Lowe's. They were two for 20 so 10 bucks for these heavy duty ones. So I went and picked those up. You might want to check that if you use these. They're a pretty good deal right now. Hey, I lied. I said we had two sales in here, but we have three. But two are the same. So, you know, Dr. Demento, Jerry Garcia, Twisted Radio Waves. And we make like three bucks every time we sell one. And we sell one every single day, it seems like. Sometimes two. Mark bought this one, bought one of them. Somebody else bought the other. And Mark says, thanks for the history lessons. The reselling tips and tricks aren't bad either. So <laughs> thanks so much. I would so love, it's, it's Easter for you. I would so love to talk about Easter. I would go, I would go on and on for forever going, you know, the Roman history, going all the way back to Babylon and looking at the, uh, fertility festivals and the springtime festivals and the gods and the goddesses and how it gets synchronized with Christianity and mesh together and all the traditions that we hold dear today. So anyway, I'm going to resist though, because Blue Ridge Mama has a spring break list for me about a mile long and I better get started on it. So thank you, Mark. And this one was on, cl well, it, was, it hit our 20% off clearance or sale or whatever you want to call it, which means it's been in the store for more than a year. And we're still going to make a $9 profit on it. So it's a Columbia shirt. And we paid 4 bucks for it at Goodwill. Which is really good. New with I mean, how many of y'all Goodwills out there would do this shirt for 4 bucks, right? $3.99. So it's a 2XL. Not the greatest brand in the world. But 2XL, brand new with tags. I'm like, yeah, it's going to make some money. I think we put it out there for 24 bucks, something like that. So for $20, free shipping. And it'll make us 9 bucks. So 20 bucks, your figure fees, 3 shipping, 7 8, 9, 10, 11, it's gonna make us $9 profit after putting it on sale for 20 bucks to get it out of the store. It was in the far left of that closet over there. So Blue Ridge Mama listed that. And I uh, always love making these sales as always. We always, seems like every single day, she chimes in with a little bit of money and it adds up at the end. Of the, and she does more. She does a lot of the kids store stuff. She works with Turner. Reagan doesn't do that so much anymore. Uh, it's really Turner doing that store with Blue Ridge Mama. But she does the listing. Turner still can't do listings. He, he occasionally comes in there and takes pictures, and he occasionally comes in and helps me ship. But uh, she does most of the work on that store. So at any rate, I love these sales. I love that little clothing money coming in every single day. Hey, y'all have a great gift here from Dina, the Thrifty Junker, a.k.a. Thrifty Junker right there. And when I saw this, I'm like, what in the world? Bottoms up at Butt Liquors. And... <laughs> I love butt trucks. I'm like, what is this? And then I saw this note card or this uh, postcard here. And I'm like, ah, I get it. Butt drugs. Butt is the name. It's a family name. <laughs> I'm like, wow. And she wrote a really nice message. She says, I have to know the Inaman, how the, how the Inaman came to be. 
So how did you come to be, buddy? How did you come to be? I don't know. Do you mean how did the actual Animan come to be? Because you'd have to ask Fleet how the Animan came to be. But I actually, I know that too. But I'm assuming you mean how the Animan kind of became a, a part of <laughs> reselling and part of our show. And I can, uh, I tell you what, I promised to do that video for a while, Dina. I, I will continue to promise to do that video. There will be a day where I do the whole video for all the new subscribers, how the Inaman came to be for us. And uh, this is, I call this the house that Inaman built. Because quite literally, <laughs> this guy right here paid for it. And much, much more than just paying for it. So, at any rate. We will do that. Thrifty Junker. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I believe you said this is a YouTube channel. Thrifty Junker. I have to check it out. Thanks so much. Hey, I have a question about hats from Luann. She says, we need a video. I guess it's not really a question. Oh, no, it is a question. We need a video on how to pick up and choose hats. You look at them, debate, then you put them down. <laughs> I wonder what you're thinking. So my wife asks me that all the time. What are you thinking? She said, <laughs> look, it... it... I don't want to give a cop-out answer, but there is no straight answer without doing, a, you know, a pretty detailed research-oriented video. So I'm just going to tell you this. I've been doing it a long time. I do a lot of it from experience. I've seen those hats before. I've sold them. I, know I don't find hats I've seen every single time, but I've seen a ton of hats in 20 years. So I have a pretty good idea. And here's just a, a good little tip. Well, one, you know, K products, denim looking old in good shape that has something you recognize, you know, some kind of brand name, those are gonna sell for something. So if you get the price, it's it's gonna be good. Now, as far as, you know, K products on the on the back of the hat, I don't take my hat off because my hair's a mess. Hold on a minute. So I found this hat the other day and it says K products right there. It's not a bad, you know, there are some, some hat brand names that are okay. You know, you find Logo 7 and stuff like that. You're gonna be okay. Um, you know, the shark tooth and the paint splash and the three line hats. It just depends. You know, if you recognize it, just ask yourself, is somebody going to want this hat out there? And a lot of times you're right. But if you want to look it up and you want to know the best hats, because finding $10 hats isn't all that great. I do it, but it's not all that great. Go to your eBay app and go to completed listings, sold listings, and type in like vintage trucker hat or vintage hat even. But I do vintage trucker hat or a cap or something like that or you could even pick out certain genres and you're going to look those hats up but once you go to completed sold you don't want to just scroll forever because you're going to see everything that's sold from you know five bucks to whatever you want to go to the top and you want to filter it out by highest price plus shipping first and then you'll see all the best bolos at the top and you'll see, you'll see a lot of polo shirts, or polo shirts. You'll see a lot of polo hats in there. You'll see a lot of very, very desirable hats. You'll see the John Deere hats. You'll see, I mean, I could come up with a few here, but you get the point. Go through and do that. I call it reverse lookup, but I don't know. I just have always called it that for no good reason. <laughs> but find those bolo hats. Use that filter and pick a genre, a type of hat. You know, it could be a sports team hat. It could be a... You know, like I said, Ralph Lauren, maybe you pick polo hat and look at all those. Maybe you do shark tooth hat and you can look at all those. So just pick a few out like that and find the very best. At least you'll know and you'll have it in your mind's eye that you'll be dangerous out there. And you might pass up some, you know, $10 hats or something, but you're not going to pass up the, the big ones. So hopefully that helps a little bit. I have a question here from Donald. This is the kind of question I love because it means I get to plug my affiliate links. <laughs> Where do you get the tabletop two roll tape dispenser? So can y'all see that? This thing right here? I love this thing. It's awesome. It's, the only downfall is if, I don't know if you can see the other one. Hold on a minute. The only downfall is it's not blue. <laughs> other than that, that thing is awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Matter of fact, this one has a mount it's got screwed, you know, it's not have a mount, but you can mount it. There's two little screw holes. And it's even better if you have a permanent place for it. You can keep it there. It's really, really heavy. This one doesn't, but it's filled with sand. Really heavy. It's pretty darn cheap. Really cheap, actually. They're both really cheap. eBay links in the description. Amazon links in the description. And I think it's on my Amazon page as well. 
that's down there. So at any rate, was it Donald? Hopefully that helps. You'll love it, I promise. There's, you know, almost everything I use, I put in those affiliate links. Not quite everything. You know, there's a something. I think I even put this one in, but I didn't recommend it. I use it all the time, but it's not worth the money for what I use it for. I usually use it not to dust and to get stuff out of the cracks and crevices, although I do. If you ever wash something, clean something off, you know, with a wet wipe or something like that, and then it takes forever to dry, and you're waiting for it to dry before you can take the picture. So I usually grab this, and it dries off really quick. Definitely not worth the money to do that, though. At any rate, thanks for the question. Quick thank you to Kathy, Tammy, and Melissa for buying the plans for the shipping table. We hope you enjoy it. I know we sure do. It's been a big time saver and a money saver as well. And to Chris from Illinois, since I'm not a coffee drinker, he says, get Turner a Frosty for me. <laughs> Turner will be happy to, it's a $2 coffee. Thank you so much for that. And we'll spend it on Turner's Frosty. What are they, $1.19 these days? I think they are. I used to do eBay 15 years ago. I know that because I love Frosties. <laughs> I think I could eat a Frosty a day and just be perfectly fine. Uh, I'd skip a meal for a Frosty, I think. Although they have those big... I better shut up. All right. I would love to start again, but with some ongoing health issues, I'm unable to. So instead, I watch others and get a good laugh some days. Hopefully, you're not laughing at us. You're laughing with us, I hope. Uh, I love your entire family, including Boots. Now we're not laughing here. Boots was in... Mm. Mm. Let me tell you. Boots is trouble. She knocked this thing off on my head the other day. She's clawing at my shower curtain and mm, I don't know. I <laughs> keep being the best fake eBayer out there. <laughs> thank you very much. You are all doing a great job, Chris. Thank you. And thanks for making us laugh. And thanks for the coffee. We appreciate it. And we can't wait to see you all next time. Mm -hmm.